Good afternoon. This is All India Radio. I'm Manoj Singh Rana and with me is Rupender Kaur Chawla with the Midday News. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says success of the COVID vaccination program displays capability of India. Lords health workers for establishing new benchmark in service to humanity through innovation and sheer determination. In his Man Ki Baat program, Prime Minister urges people to pledge against using single-use plastic. Prime Minister reminds people to be vocal for local in the festive season, urges people to buy local products for Diwali. Home Minister Amit Shah to address rally in Jammu today. Today, foundation for various developmental projects. Over 102 crore, 10 lakh COVID-19 vaccine doses administered in the country so far. COVID recovery rate stands at 98.17%. In Bihar, polling underway for the fifth phase of Panchayat elections amidst tight security. Indian naval ships sailed to Sri Lanka on a four-day visit as part of overseas deployment for integrated officers training course. Indo-Tibetan Border Police, ITBP, celebrates its 60th raising day today. ITBP personnel answered nation's call with utmost dedication, says Prime Minister. Today is United Nations Day. Prime Minister asserts Women Power of India played large role in increasing influence and strength of the UN. And T20 Cricket World Cup to witness Clash of the Titans as India takes on arch-rivals Pakistan in their first group match at Dubai this evening. As India created history by administering 100 crore doses of vaccine against COVID-19, All India Radio salutes all the doctors, nurses, other frontline workers and all those who got vaccinated and made this possible. Even though the country has achieved this feat, we caution our listeners that the battle against COVID is not yet over. We appeal to our listeners to get fully vaccinated at the earliest and also help others get vaccinated. During the festival season, please follow these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain dogas ki duri for social distancing and focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact the National Helpline numbers 011-2397-8046 and 1075. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today said the success of the COVID vaccination program displays the capability of India. हमारे वैक्सीन कार्यक्रम की सफलता भारत के सामर्थ्य को दिखाती है सबके प्रयास के मंत्र की शक्ति को दिखाती है साथियों 100 करोड़ वैक्सीन डोज का आंकड़ा बहुत बड़ा जरूर है लेकिन इससे लाखों छोटी-छोटी प्रेरक और गर्व से भर देने वाली अनेक अनुभव अनेक उदाहरण जुड़े हुए हैं बहुत सारे लोग पत्र लिखकर मुझसे पूछ रहे हैं कि वैक्सीन की शुरुआत के साथ ही कैसे मुझे यह विश्वास हो गया था कि इस अभियान को इतनी बड़ी सफलता मिलेगी मुझे यह दृढ़ विश्वास इसलिए था क्योंकि मैं अपने देश अपने देश के लोगों की क्षमताओं से भली भांति परिचित हूं Addressing the nation in his Man Ki Baat program on All India Radio, Mr. Modi said the figure of 100 crore vaccine doses might be huge, but there lacks of inspiration stories behind it. आप जैसे लाखों हेल्थ वर्कर्स ने उनके परिश्रम की वजह से भारत 100 करोड़ वैक्सीन डोज का पड़ाव पार कर सका है। आज मैं सिर्फ आपका ही आभार व्यक्त नहीं कर रहा हूं, बल्कि हर उस भारतवासी का आभार व्यक्त कर रहा हूं जिसने सबको वैक्सीन मुफ्त वैक्सीन अभियान को इतनी ऊंचाई दी कामयाबी दी आपको आपके परिवार को मेरी बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं है The prime minister said he had a firm belief that the vaccination campaign will be successful since he is well acquainted with the capabilities of the nation and its people Mr Modi spoke to Poonam Nautial from Bageshwar in Uttarakhand who persevered day and night for the inoculation of people in her area अच्छा मुझे बताया गया है पूनम जी कि आपने आउट ऑफ द वे जाकर लोगों का टीका लगवाया 
ये क्या कल्पना है आपके मन में विचार कैसे आए और कैसे किया आपने हम लोगों ने पूरी टीम ने संकल्प लिया था कि हम लोग एक भी व्यक्ति छूटना नहीं चाहिए हमारे देश से कोरोना बीमारी दूर भागनी चाहिए मैंने और आशा ने मिलकर प्रत्येक व्यक्ति के हम लोगों ने गांव आई ड्यूलिस्ट बनाई फिर उसके हिसाब से जो लोग सेंटर में आए उनको सेंटर में लगाया फिर हम लोग घर घर गए आंसर फिर उसके बाद जो लोग छूटे हुए थे जो लोग नहीं आ पाते सेंटर में अच्छा लोगों को समझाना पड़ता था हाँ जी समझाया हाँ जी लोगों का उत्साह है अभी भी वैक्सीन लेने का हाँ जी सर हाँ जी आप तो सर लोग समझ गए हैं फर्स्ट में बहुत दिक्कत हुई हम लोगो को लोगो को समझाना पड़ता था की ये जो वैक्सीन है सुरक्षित है और असरदार है हम लोग भी लगा चुके हैं तो हम लोग तो ठीक है आपके सामने है और हमारे स्टाफ ने सबने लगा लिया है तो लोग ठीक हैं कहीं पर वैक्सीन लगने के बाद किसी की शिकायत आई बाद में नहीं नहीं सर ऐसा नहीं हुआ कुछ नहीं हुआ जी सबको संतोष था हाँ जी कि ठीक हो गया हाँ जी चलिए आपने बहुत बड़ा काम किया है और मैं जानता हूँ ये पूरा क्षेत्र कितना कठिन है और पैदल चलना पहाड़ों पे एक पहाड़ पे जाओ फिर नीचे उतरो फिर दूसरे पहाड़ पे जाओ घर भी दूर दूर उसके बावजूद भी आपने इतना बढ़िया काम किया है धन्यवाद सर मेरे सौभाग्य सर आपसे बात हुई मेरी Quoting Sardar Patel, Mr. Modi said, "People can take this country to loftier heights only through united efforts." He said, "There is a lot to learn from the lives and thoughts of Sardar Patel." Mr. Modi urged everyone to read a recently published pictorial biography of Sardar Patel, brought out by the Information and Broadcasting Ministry. The Prime Minister spoke about three competitions that are going to begin on the birth anniversary of Sardar Patel on the 31st of October. They are patriotic song competition. Rangoli competition and lullaby competition the prime minister urged young people to instill amrit mahotsav with energy by writing patriotic songs these patriotic songs can be in any language mr modi said it is essential that these creations reflect new india and fuel the country's resolve for the future another listener of man ki baat had suggested that amrit mahotsav should be connected to the art of rangoli as well हमारे यहाँ रंगोली के जरिए त्योहारों में रंग भरने की परंपरा तो सदियों से है रंगोली में देश की विविधता के दर्शन होते हैं अलग अलग राज्यों में अलग अलग नामों से अलग अलग थीम पर रंगोली बनाई जाती है इसलिए संस्कृति मंत्रालय इससे भी जुड़ा एक नेशनल कंपटीशन करने जा रहा है आप कल्पना करिए जब आजादी के आंदोलन से जुड़ी रंगोली बनेगी लोग अपने द्वार पर दीवार पर किसी आजादी के मतवाले का चित्र बनाएंगे आजादी की इस घटना को रंगों से दिखाएंगे तो अमृत महोत्सव का भी रंग और बढ़ जाएगा मिस्टर मोदी सेड वैल्यूज आर इनकल्केटेड इन यंग चिल्ड्रन थ्रू लालबाइज ही सेड दिस फैक्टर शुड बी रिवाइव एंड अर्ज पीपुल टू राइट लालबाइज पर्टेनिंग टू पेट्रिटिज्म He said there should be a reference to modern India, the vision of 21st century India, and its dreams in these lullabies. He said in the coming days, the Ministry of Culture will provide all the information related to these events. This information will also be available on the website of the ministry and will be circulated through social media. The birth anniversary of Bhagwan Birsa Munda is on the 15th of November. Prime Minister Modi said Bhagwan Birsa Munda is also known as Dharti Aba which means the father of the earth. He said Bhagwan Birsa Munda taught people to take pride in their culture and roots. Mr Modi said the foreign rule subjected him to countless threats but he did not relinquish the tribal culture. Prime Minister said police commemoration day was celebrated recently on the 21st of October. He said it was earlier believed that services like army and police are meant only for men. लेकिन आज ऐसा नहीं है ब्यूरो ऑफ पुलिस रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट के आंकड़े बताते हैं कि पिछले कुछ वर्षों में महिला पुलिस कर्मियों की संख्या डबल हो गई है दोगुनी हो गई है 2014 में जहां इनकी संख्या एक लाख पांच हजार के करीब थी वहीं 2020 तक इसमें दो गुने से भी ज्यादा की बढ़ोतरी हुई है और ये संख्या अब दो लाख पंद्रह हजार तक पहुंच गई है यहां तक कि सेंट्रल आर्म पुलिस फोर्सेस में भी पिछले सात सालों में महिलाओं की संख्या लगभग दोगुनी हुई है और मैं केवल संख्या की बात नहीं करता आज देश की बेटियां कठिन से कठिन ड्यूटी भी पूरी ताकत और हौसले से कर रही हैं। He said many of them are currently undergoing one of the most difficult trainings that of specialized jungle warfare commandos discussing the topic of drones prime minister said India is one of the first countries in the world which is preparing digital records of land in its villages with the help of drones Mr Modi said government is taking all possible steps to become a leading country in drone technology is saal 25 agad ko desh ek nayi drone niti lekar aaya 
ये नीति ड्रोन से जुड़े वर्तमान और भविष्य की संभावनाओं के हिसाब से बनाई गई है इसमें अब न बहुत सारे फॉर्म्स के चक्कर में पड़ना होगा न ही पहले जितनी फीस देनी पड़ेगी मुझे आपको बताते हुए खुशी हो रही है कि नई ड्रोन पॉलिसी आने के बाद कई ड्रोन स्टार्टअप में विदेशी और देशी निवेशकों ने निवेश किया है कई कंपनियां मैन्युफैक्चरिंग यूनिट्स भी लगा रही हैं। आर्मी नेवी और एयरफोर्स ने भारतीय ड्रोन कंपनियों को 500 करोड़ रुपए से ज्यादा के ऑर्डर भी दिए हैं और ये तो अभी शुरुआत है हमें यही नहीं रुकना है हमें ड्रोन टेक्नोलॉजी में अग्रणी देश बनना है इसके लिए सरकार हर संभव कदम उठा रही है मैं देश के युवाओं से भी कहूंगा कि आप ड्रोन पॉलिसी के बाद बने अवसरों का लाभ उठाने के बारे में जरूर सोचे आगे आए Speaking about Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, Mr. Modi urged people to pledge against using single-use plastic. He said cleanliness should not just be limited to homes in this Diwali, but the neighborhood should be clean too. Man ki baat ke ek shrota, Srimati Prabha Shukla ne mujhe swachhata se juda ek patra bheja hai. Unho ne likha hai ki Bharat mein tiyoharo par hum sabhi swachhata ko celebrate karte hai. Baise hi agar hum स्वच्छता को हर दिन की आदत बना लें तो पूरा देश स्वच्छ हो जाएगा मुझे प्रभा जी की बात बहुत पसंद आई वाकई जहाँ सफाई है वहाँ स्वास्थ्य है जहाँ स्वास्थ्य है वहाँ सामर्थ्य है और जहाँ सामर्थ्य है वहाँ समृद्धि है इसलिए तो देश स्वच्छ भारत अभियान पर इतना जोर दे रहा है Saparum Naya Sarai a village near Ranchi there used to be a pond in this village but people had started using this pond area for defecating in the open under the swachh bharat abhiyan after toilets were built in everyone's homes the villagers worked hard to make a park at the place of the pond today that place has become a community spot for the people mr modi also reminded people to be vocal for local in the festive season तीन त्योहार तो होंगे ही होंगे इसी दौरान छठ पूजा भी होगी नवंबर में ही गुरु नानक देव जी की जयंती भी है इतने त्योहार एक साथ होते हैं तो उनकी तैयारियां भी काफी पहले से शुरू हो जाती हैं। आप सब भी अभी से खरीदारी का प्लान करने लगे होंगे लेकिन आपको याद है ना खरीदारी मतलब वोकल फॉर लोकल आप लोकल खरीदेंगे तो आपका त्योहार भी रोशन होगा और किसी गरीब भाई बहन किसी कारीगर किसी बुनकर के घर में भी रोशनी आएगी मुझे पूरा भरोसा है जो मुहिम हम सब ने मिलकर शुरू की है इस बार त्योहारों में और भी मजबूत होगी आप अपने यहाँ के जो लोकल प्रोडक्ट्स खरीदें उनके बारे में सोशल मीडिया पर शेयर भी करें अपने साथ के लोगों को भी बताएं अगले महीने हम फिर मिलेंगे और फिर ऐसे ही ढेर सारे विषयों पर बात करेंगे आप सभी का बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद Union Home Minister Amit Shah is participating in several events and to lay the foundation stone of various developmental projects in Jammu. Mr Shah is holding public rally in Bhagwati Nagar Jammu. Let us go live now to the rally where Mr Shah is addressing. Shramiko ko hito ki raksha ke liye minimum wage act ko lagu kiya safai karmachari act ko lagu kiya dalito ke aur tribal par ke adhikaron ke liye मैं उनके हितों की रक्षा के लिए अत्याचार रोकने के लिए सख्त कानून लाए जो मेरे आदिवासी भाई जंगल के अंदर रह रहे हैं उनको जमीन के पट्टे का अधिकार भी ये भारतीय जनता पार्टी की नरेंद्र मोदी सरकार ने दिया मित्रों मैं जब यहां आया हूं तब आज ढेर सारे चीजों का AIR Jammu correspondent reports that Mr Shah today inaugurated new campus of Indian Institute of Technology Jammu the home minister also inaugurated two phases of the multidisciplinary research center and laid foundation stone of the third phase of the center at the IIT Jammu the union home minister will also hold a meeting with MPs MLAs and senior BJP leaders of Jammu and Kashmir in the Jammu district today you are listening to the midday news on all india radio A reminder of the headlines before we move on 
Prime Minister Narendra Modi says success of the COVID vaccination program displays capability of India, lords health workers for establishing new benchmark in service to humanity through innovation and sheer determination. In his Man Ki Baat program, Prime Minister urges people to pledge against using single-use plastic. Prime Minister reminds people to be vocal for local in the festive season, urges people to buy local products for Diwali. Home Minister Amit Shah to address rally in Jammu today to lay foundation for various developmental projects. Over 102 crore 10 lakh COVID-19 vaccine doses administered in the country so far. COVID recovery rate stands at 98.17%. In Bihar, polling underway for the fifth phase of Panchayat elections amidst tight security. Indian naval ships sailed to Sri Lanka on a four-day visit as part of overseas deployment for integrated officers training course. Indo-Tibetan Border Police ITBP celebrates its 60th raising day today. ITBP personnel answered nation's call with utmost dedication, says Prime Minister. Today is United Nations Day. Prime Minister asserts woman power of India played large role in increasing influence and strength of the UN. And T20 Cricket World Cup to witness clash of the titans as India takes on arch rivals Pakistan in the first group match at Dubai this evening. For quick news updates round the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. आजादी के आंदोलन के खजाने में ऐसे ढेरों शब्द जिन्होंने बदल दिए इतिहास तारीख बदलने वाले लफ्जों पर आकाशवाणी समाचार ला रहा है विशेष कार्यक्रम धरोहर हर सोमवार वेलकम बैक यू आर लिसनिंग टू द मिड डे न्यूज over 102 crore 10 lakh COVID-19 vaccine doses have been administered in the country so far under the nationwide vaccination drive. In the last 24 hours, more than 77,40,000 vaccine doses were administered. Around 16,000 new COVID-19 cases were reported in the last 24 hours, while over 16,000 people recovered. 561 people lost their lives during the period. Till now, more than 3 crore 35 lakh people recovered from COVID-19. The Union Health Ministry said the COVID recovery rate in the country now stands at 98.17%. In Bihar, polling is underway for the fifth phase of Panchayat elections amidst tight security. Polling, which began at 7 a.m., will continue till 5 p.m. Polling is being held in 58 blocks spread over 38 districts, including Patna, Gaya and Madhubani today. 92,972 candidates are in the fray. No untoward incident has been reported so far from any part of the state. The first training squadron comprising Indian naval ships Sujata, Magar, Shardul, Sudarshini, Tarangini and Coast Guard ship Vikram is on a four-day visit to Sri Lanka starting today. This is part of their overseas deployment for the 100th and, 100 and 101st Integrated Officers Training Course. The deployment is aimed at broadening the horizons of young officers and officer trainees by exposing them to the socio-political and maritime facets of different countries in the Indian Ocean region. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has greeted all ITBP personnel on the raising day to day. In a tweet, Mr. Modi said, from dense forests in Arunachal Pradesh to the icy heights of the Himalayas, ITBP personnel have answered the nation's call with utmost dedication. He added that the humanitarian work during times of disasters is noteworthy. Today is United Nations Day. On this day in 1945, the UN Charter entered into force. The United Nations is an intergovernmental organization whose primary role is to maintain world peace and security. 
Addressing the nation in his Man Ki Baat program on All India Radio, Prime Minister Narendra Modi also mentioned that India has been a member since the formation of the United Nations and had signed the Charter of the United Nations in 1945 prior to independence. Mr. Modi pointed out that the woman power of India has played a large role in increasing the influence and strength of the United Nations. संयुक्त राष्ट्र से जुड़ा एक अनोखा पहलू ये है कि संयुक्त राष्ट्र का प्रभाव और उसकी शक्ति बढ़ाने में भारत की नारी शक्ति ने बड़ी भूमिका निभाई है 1947-48 में जब यूएन ह्यूमन राइट्स का यूनिवर्सल डिक्लेरेशन तैयार हो रहा था तो उस डिक्लेरेशन में लिखा जा रहा था ऑल मैन आर क्रिएटेड इक्वल लेकिन भारत के एक डेलीगेट ने इस पर आपत्ति जताई और फिर यूनिवर्सल डिक्लेरेशन में लिखा गया ऑल ह्यूमन बींग्स आर क्रिएटेड इक्वल ये बात जेंडर इक्वेलिटी की भारत की सदियों पुरानी परंपरा के अनुरूप थी क्या आप जानते हैं कि श्रीमती हंसा मेहता वो डेलीगेट थी जिनकी वजह से ये संभव हो पाया उसी दौरान एक अन्य डेलीगेट श्रीमती लक्ष्मी मैनन ने जेंडर इक्वेलिटी के मुद्दे पर जोरदार तरीके से अपनी बात रखी थी ये Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be on a day-long visit to Uttar Pradesh tomorrow where he will launch the ambitious Pradhan Mantri Atmanirbhar Swast Bharat Yojana nationwide in Varanasi. Now let's listen to a special program, Azadi Ka Safar, highlighting the importance of the day during the freedom struggle. Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. India's glorious fight for freedom is one of the greatest struggles the modern world has ever witnessed. AIR News brings you a glimpse of the valiant struggle every day. October the 24th is the birth anniversary of Jaydev Kapoor. Jaydev Kapoor was born in 1908 in Hardoi, Uttar Pradesh. While studying in DAV College in Kanpur, he, along with Shiv Varma, joined the Hindustan Republican Association. In 1925, Jaydev was entrusted with the task of developing a revolutionary network in Banaras. Accordingly, he enrolled for the BSc course in the Banaras Hindu University. Bhagat Singh stayed in the Limdi hostel with him for several days. Jaydev received training in manufacturing bombs in Agra. He played an important role in the assembly bombing as a protest against the trade dispute bill and the public safety bill. He was arrested and sent to the cellular jail in Andaman and Nicobar Islands, popularly known as Kala Pani. <laughs> He expressed the desire to meet Bhagat Singh and other associates for the last time. Bhagat Singh handed over his brand new shoes to Jadev, saying that the police would take them anyway. At least, Jadev could use them. Jadev preserved them as a souvenir. Jadev was in Andaman cellular jail for 16 years and was released just a couple of years before India attained independence. <laughs> Twenty fourth of October is the birth anniversary of Lakshmi Sagal. Lakshmi Sagal was born on October the twenty fourth, nineteen hundred and fourteen, in Madras to S. Swaminathan and A. V. Ammukutti. Ammukutti Swaminathan was a social worker and freedom fighter who would later become a member of India's Constituent Assembly. Upon completion of high school, Lakshmi Sahigal studied at the Madras Medical College from where she completed her MBBS in 1938. The intervening years saw Lakshmi Sahigal and her family drawn into the ongoing freedom struggle. As a young doctor of 26, Lakshmi Sahigal left for Singapore in 1940. She had heard that Subhash Chandra Bose was keen on drafting women into the Indian National Army. She requested a meeting with Bose when he arrived in Singapore. After the meeting, which went for hours, she was given the mandate to set up a women's regiment, which was to be called the Rani of Chasi Regiment. 
नेताजी इतना अच्छी तरह समझाया और उन लोगों को बता दिया कि आप लोग सिर्फ देश का आजादी के लिए नहीं है महिला मुक्ति के लिए भी आप लोग लड़ेंगे खराब लगता है कि हमारे देश में हम लोग सिर्फ अंग्रेजों से गुलाम नहीं है हमारा सामाजिक भी ऐसे बुराई है जिसे हम लोग खुद गुलाम एक बनाते हैं डॉक्टर लक्ष्मी स्वामीनाथन बिकेम कैप्टन लक्ष्मी The INA's march to Burma began in December 1944. In March 1944, the Japanese forces began its offensive into India's eastern frontier. The INA Special Services Group, redesignated as the Bahadur Group, worked with the advanced Japanese units and pathfinders in the opening stages of the Japanese offensive in the upper Burma region and into Manipur. These were tasked to infiltrate through British lines and approach units identified as consisting of significant Indian troops and encourage them to defect. Captain Lakshmi Sehgal was arrested by the British Army in May 1945. She remained under house arrest in the jungles of Burma until March 1946 when she was sent to India. Captain Lakshmi married Colonel Prem Kumar Sehgal. a leading figure of the INA in March 1947 the couple moved from Lahore to Kanpur where she continued her medical practice to help people who were displaced due to partition thus earning the trust and gratitude of both Hindus and Muslims in 1998 Sehgal was awarded the Padma Vibhushan Lakshmi Sehgal died of a cardiac arrest on the 23rd of July 2012 at the age of 97 in Kanpur October 24th is also the death anniversary of Rafi Ahmed Kidwai Rafi Ahmed Kidwai was born on the 18th of February 1894 in Barabanki district in Uttar Pradesh Kidwai was particularly active during the Khilafat movement during the 1920s by which time he was a well known member of the Indian National Congress He was imprisoned for his part in the non-cooperation movement and was released in 1922. Rafi Ahmed Kidwai was elected to the Constituent Assembly from the United Provinces and after independence he was appointed as the first Minister of Communication. He inaugurated the first night air mail service. Subsequently, he held the post of the Agriculture Minister. Kidwai died on the 24th of October in the year 1954. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi ka safar AIR news ke sang see you in the next episode tomorrow In the T20 Cricket World Cup India will take on arch rivals Pakistan in the first group game today at Dubai Now let us take a look at the weather update for today. The national capital Delhi is likely to have light rain. Mumbai will have partly cloudy sky. Chennai is expected to have partly cloudy sky and Kolkata is also likely to have mainly clear sky. And now before we end the bulletin the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says success of the COVID vaccination program displays capability of India lords health workers for establishing new benchmark in service to humanity through innovation and sheer determination. In his Mann ki baat program prime minister urges people to pledge against using single use plastic prime minister reminds people to be vocal for local in the festive season urges people to buy local products for diwali home minister amit shah addresses rally in jammu today to lay foundation stone for various developmental projects over 102 crore 10 lakh covid-19 vaccine doses administered in the country so far covid recovery rate stands at 98.17% in bihar polling underway for the fifth phase of panchayat elections amid tight security indian naval ships sailed to sri lanka on a four day visit as part of overseas deployment for integrated officers training course Indo Tibetan Border Police ITBP celebrates its 60th raising day today ITBP personnel answered nation's call with utmost dedication says prime minister Today is United Nations Day prime minister asserts women power of India played large role in increasing influence and strength of the UN and T20 Cricket World Cup to witness clash of the titans as India take on arch rivals Pakistan in their first group match in Dubai 
this evening. For details of these stories and more, log on to our website newsonair.gov.in and news on AIR app. And with that, we end the midday news.